squirt you with some, something you don't want. The last weirdo deal I got myself into was in Las Vegas. I got into Uber rideshare. In Vegas? Yeah, where there's you get on one, he's like, all right, you got the whole thing to yourself, so you think. And he says, all right, uh, then, yeah. we got a stop to make. Some guy comes in, he opens your door and pushes you over? Two meth heads do. Ah, fuck. It was in Las Vegas, and he went over these train tracks, and we got into the bad part of town. And uh, he pulled up next to this pawn shop, and these three toothless meth heads, that were, they were like fighting amongst each other to begin with. I was like, oh, God, I hope it's not them. And then he, they got, they started to get in, but this guy, he was a Ukrainian boxer. He had a boxing glove hanging from his rearview mirror. Right. He was all <laughs> As you mus- do. Yeah, he was all muscled <laughs> up. I felt like, I was like, man, this, you know, like a Justin Bieber type of setup or something where he's always got an ass kicker running around so he right. can run his he's mouth and shit. Yeah, I was like. Takes care of business. Well. Yeah, I was like, man, this is must, what, what be uh, young Bieber's like life is like that old Bieberman yeah I don't know why I even brought his ass up because I don't I can't even name one of his songs or nothing I just no, I've never heard one I've, I've seen him on TMZ one. though he does hang out with yeah. dudes like that yeah. so uh, 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 uh. but that's what I felt like and then he wasn't gonna let these meth heads in but somehow yeah, so he, he bargained just, with them okay and only let two of them in and yeah but I, I think I said that already yeah maybe I don't know. I think I've said this story. Flash back in time. Yeah, and you know I've never stayed in the cheap side of town, but I'd like to. Well, and I've, you know what I did last time I was there? A quick story. I took Uber, and you do the ride share. Uber ride share. Whoa, that's a wild ride, man. I get in, and it's like a muscle man from the Ukraine with a boxing glove hanging from the mirror. We get into the back of his BMW, and I'm driving around and it's like a nice ass bmw i'm like man this is what it must feel like to be rich and the next thing i know he says we have a ride and we go to a empty parking lot next to a pawn shop and three meth heads are fighting to get in and i'm thinking oh f-. and he wouldn't let them in and it was like a standoff eventually he let them in but man they were crazy nasty and we dropped them off at a hotel and the whole time the lady was talking about what? being a hooker <laughs> anyways yeah <laughs> That's a we just had a deja vu. Fuck, yeah, that's crazy how that works, ain't it?